A fraction comprises three parts. The numerator, the top part of the fraction, the denominator, the bottom part of the fraction and the dividing line which separates them. Decimal A decimal is any number in our base 10 number system. Specifically, we will be using numbers that have one or more digits to the right of the decimal point in this unit of lessons. The decimal point is used to separate the ones place from the tenths place in decimals. As we move to the right of the decimal point, each number place is divided by 10. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Fraction, Decimals Fractions The numbers of the A upon B form, where A and B are natural numbers, are known as fractions. The number A is called the numerator and the number B is called the denominator. Thus, 1 upon 2, 3 upon 4, 5 upon 3, 32 upon 5, etc. are all fractions. There are different types of fractions. Proper fraction. If the numerator of a fraction is smaller than the denominator, assuming both are positive, then the fraction is said to be a proper fraction. Proper fractions represent numbers between 0 and 1. Two parts are shaded in the animation. Total number of equal parts is 8. Unshaded part can be represented as 5 upon 8 in fraction. The top number is less as compared to the number below. Such type of a fraction are called a proper fraction. Improper fractions. If the numerator in a fraction is larger than the denominator, assuming both are positive, the fraction is said to be an improper fraction. Improper fractions represent numbers greater than 1 and are sometimes called top-heavy fractions. Some examples of improper fractions are 31 upon 2, 11 upon 5, So, 1 plus 1 upon 4 is equal to 5 upon 4, which is an improper fraction. Mixed fraction. Numbers having a natural number part and a fractional part are called mixed fraction. We denote a mixed fraction in the form A into B upon C. For example, 4 into 1 upon 2, 3 into 1 upon 4. We can express every mixed fraction as an improper fraction and every improper fraction as a mixed fraction. For example, 2 into 1 upon 4 in improper form can be written as 9 upon 4. Improper fraction 5 upon 2 in a mixed fraction form can be written as 2 into 1 upon 2. Equivalent fraction. The best way to think about equivalent fractions is that they are fractions that have the same overall value or are fractions that are expressed in a different way from each other but have the same value. Equivalent fractions represent the same part of a whole. When the numerator and denominator of a fraction is multiplied or divided by the same non-zero number, the value of the fraction remains the same. We can see that 1 upon 2 is equal to 2 upon 4 is equal to 3 upon 6 is equal to 4 upon 8. Adding and subtracting fractions. Fractions that have the same denominator are called like fractions. Fractions that have a different denominator are called unlike fractions. Rule 1. To add or subtract two like fractions, we add or subtract the numerator, the denominator remaining the same. 1 upon 4 and 2 upon 4 are like fractions since they have the same denominator, 4. In other words, they are the same kind of parts, fourth parts. Addition and subtraction of unlike fractions. Rule 2. To add or subtract unlike fractions, we convert them to equivalent like fractions and then add or subtract as in the rule first. For example, 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 2 Multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. Case 1. When the fraction is a proper fraction, we have 3 into 1 upon 4 is equal to 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4, 
which is equal to 3 upon 4. Similarly, 3 upon 4 into 6 is equal to 3 into 6 upon 4 equal to 18 upon 4. Case 2. When the fraction is improper fraction, here also we have 4 into 7 upon 3 is equal to 4 into 7 upon 3 equal to 28 upon 3. Thus, to multiply a whole number with a proper or improper fraction, we multiply the whole number with the numerator of the fraction, keeping the denominator same. Case 3. When the fraction is mixed fraction, we change the mixed fraction into improper fraction and do the operation as above. Fraction as an operator of We consider the following problem. Raju had four pencils with him. Sonu had three times of the pencils that Raju had. How many pencils did Sonu have? We find that Sonu had twelve pencils. Here the number four was multiplied by three. So, off indicates multiplication. Let us consider another problem. Gita had fifteen chocolates with her. Rani had one third of the number of chocolates that Gita had. How many chocolates did Rani have? As off indicates multiplication, so Rani had one third of fifteen, that is fifteen upon three equals to five chocolates. Similarly, half of ten is one by two into ten, that is equal to five. One fourth of twenty is equal to one by four into twenty, that is five. Multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. Let's look at a visual model of three by four into two by three. First, separate the square into three equal parts vertically and color two parts to indicate two by three. Now, Separate the square into four equal parts horizontally and color three parts to show three by four. Since we are looking for two by three into three by four, so here we get six out of twelve parts that are double shaded and that represent the product. Thus, the number of parts that are double shaded is six, which is the product of the two numerators. In general, if A by B and C by D are fractions, then A by B into C by D is equal to A into C by B into D. So, product of two fractions is equal to product of numerators by product of denominators. Reciprocal of a fraction. We have 3 upon 2 into 2 upon 3 is equal to 1. 4 upon 9 into 9 upon 4 is equal to 1. 1 upon 3 into 3 upon 1 is equal to 1. In general, reciprocal of any non-zero fraction, A upon B into B upon A, where A and B are not equal to 0. Note, reciprocal of a fraction is also known as multiplicative inverse. 0 has no reciprocal, multiplicative inverse, because the product of 0 with any fraction cannot be 1. Division of a whole number by a fraction. We know that division is the reverse process of multiplication. Therefore, we can say that 9 divided by 1 upon 4 is equal to 9 into 4 upon 1 is equal to 9 into reciprocal of 1 upon 4. So, 9 divided by 1 upon 4 is equal to 9 into reciprocal of 1 upon 4. We thus conclude that to divide a whole number by any fraction, we multiply that whole number by the reciprocal of that fraction. For example, 7 divided by 2 upon 3 is equal to 7 into 3 upon 2, that is equal to 21 upon 2. Division of a whole number by a mixed fraction. To divide a whole number by a mixed fraction, we first convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction and then solve it. Here is an example. Division of a fraction by a whole number. We have 3 divided by 4 upon 5 is equal to 3 upon 1 divided by 4 upon 5 equal to 
3 upon 1 into 5 upon 4 equals to 15 upon 4. Similarly, 4 upon 5 divided by 3 is equal to 4 upon 15. Thus, to divide a fraction by a whole number, we multiply the fraction by the reciprocal of the whole number. Division of mixed fractions by a whole number. To divide a mixed fraction by a whole number, we convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction. For example, 2 into 3 upon 5 divided by 4 is equal to 13 upon 5 divided by 4 upon 1 equal to 13 upon 5 into 1 upon 4. Division of fractions by fractions. We observe that 3 upon 4 divided by 5 upon 7 is equal to 3 upon 4 into reciprocal of 5 upon 7 is equal to 3 upon 4 into 7 upon 5 is equal to 21 upon 20. Thus, to divide a fraction by a fraction, we multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction, that is, the dividend is multiplied by the reciprocal of the divisor. In general, A upon B and C upon D are two fractions where C upon D is not equal to zero. Then, a upon B divided by C upon D is equal to A upon B into D upon C. Here is an example. Division of a fraction by a fraction. Let's divide 5 upon 7 by 1 upon 7. Finding 5 upon 7 by 1 upon 7 basically aims at finding how many times 1 upon 7 fits into 5 upon 7. Take a rectangular strip of paper that represents 5 upon 7. Encircle the regions within 5 upon 7 that represent 1 upon 7. Count number of sets of divisor 1 upon 7 fits into the dividend to find the quotient. There are 5 circled sets of 1 upon 7 in 5 upon 7. Therefore, 5 upon 7 divided by 1 upon 7 is equal to 5.